Well, hello from Mandawa. We've spent the last couple of days in this tiny little 25,000 person town with all these fantastic painted havelis and but it's not been quite as uh, fun for Dalma. Oh, <laughs> it's inevitable. You come to India, you eventually get some stomach bug and it was also the cold that I didn't expect. I fell sick. Yeah. First night after we arrived here, exhausted and frozen. I woke up at two o'clock in the morning just feeling generally ill. And I spent the day that we were supposed to spend sightseeing in bed, feeling like I've been run over by a truck. But um, they cured me with uh, ginger honey lemon tea and plain food and I'm good to go. And yeah. we still managed to go out. Well, David saw the city. I went out last night to see a little bit. And the Havelis are just amazing. They're beautiful. It's all these uh, paintings of everything over the last hundred years. There was, you know, 1930s cars and flying machines and, uh, you know, Rajput princes and kings and all this kind of stuff. It's the old incredible. crumbling buildings yeah. full of character. And it made me wonder how this place might look in a hundred years. It's it made me think yeah. it looked like a hundred years ago. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> So today we are heading south. Uh, we are going to we are aiming to get to Pushka, um, which, which is a pretty chill little town right in the centre of Rajasthan. So, and from there we're going to head up to Bikaner and then back around again. That's the general idea. We don't quite know how it will all work out. We've booked a hotel there, so um, it's another two hundred and fifty kilometres. I think again yeah. a full day ride probably. Yep. That was okay. It's in a very fun. dusty environment, but. So I guess it's time to go. Yeah. Time to go. Let's get on the bike. Don't go off. All right. Do you want to up in some dusty old town um, and it's a little below because the, uh, get the navigator kept taking us on the different roads so now we're just heading off again. There were camels in the middle of the road. no less. <laughs> so yeah, let's go.
today. I think what we're going to have to do in India is to actually work out, not, not just rely on Google, we're going to have to get everything sorted out beforehand. We're in Pushkar. We, made oh, it. we did make the Pushkar. Yes, the, one of the bikes is uh, playing up, or both of bikes playing up in different ways. But I was playing out since yesterday, but... Mine really got... Yeah, it, 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 it's uh, stopping with your idle. So we spoke to uh, our motorcycle guy and he said, that's fine, just take any mechanic and sort that. So it's good. The road was interesting. The oh. roads are much better in this area. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, a fall having potfall anymore. It's, but it's, uh, yeah, it's... A lot of toll roads, I think because it's paid for cars only, it's a better quality, quite wide. The um, Indian lines. government likes toll roads more than the coalition government that we got Wales, and that says. <laughs> but motorcycle turn pay. Yeah, it was good. A couple of things is road rules, throw them out for the other about them. <laughs> Common sense, same. You need to have lies all around. Whatever is biggest has the right of way. <clears throat> See, like often I was just going <laughs> down the, I was just going down the freeway and I was just seeing this huge truck coming straight for me. So you just go over onto the left hand there. Chilling. You're happy if you left a bit of tarmac so that you don't go off road. But by the same token, I was overtaking with a car coming, knowing that they would move around me. Um, and they That's did. Brave. They, they did every time. So we're here at Pushka. We're here for at least a couple of days where we get the motorcycles fixed. Uh, we don't know where we're going next. We will probably end up going back up towards Beekinner. So we will see you in the next video.